Today, I would like us to talk about a topic that often dances between passion and death. The intricate dance of love and sex. We often hear that sex is an important part of love, a way to feel close to someone. But have you ever felt like something was missing? Like you wanted more than just the physical side of things? Sex is often portrayed as a fundamental aspect of romantic friendships or relationships, a way to express love and intimacy. However, for many people, the physical act of sex alone may not even fulfill their deeper emotional needs. Have you ever found yourself longing for a deeper connection, yearning for intimacy that goes beyond the physical? Personally, I have. So, you see you're not alone. Many individuals crave a sense of emotional closeness and vulnerability during sexual encounters, seeking a deeper bond with their partner. This longing for emotional connection in sex can arise from a desire for intimacy, trust and mutual understanding. In this video, I would like us to explore the signs that show the difference between simply having sex and truly connecting emotionally. From the quality of communication and level of vulnerability to the presence of mutual respect and emotional attunement, these indicators can help navigate the complexities of intimate relationships and foster deeper connections with our partner, yearning for emotional intimacy. Let's imagine this. You enjoy the physical closeness with your partner, but there's something missing. Even though you're together physically, you can't just seem to connect emotionally. It's like there is a spark waiting to ignite, but it just hasn't happened yet. You crave that deeper emotional bond, but it feels out of reach. In these moments, you may find yourself yearning for deeper con conversations, shared vulnerabilities, and moments of genuine understanding. It's not just about the physical act, it's about feeling truly seen and accepted by your partner on an emotional level. Perhaps if you've experienced glimpses of this emotional intimacy in the past, moments when you felt completely in sync with your partner, sharing your deep intimacy without seeking deeper emotional connections. As human beings, we always seek emotional connection all the time and it's very important. Have you ever wished for deeper conversations and more vulnerability in your intimate moments? Personally, again, I have. Longing for heart-to-heart -heart conversations, emotional walls can hinder true expression. Being willing to share our thoughts and feelings openly, even if it makes us feel vulnerable, is key to building a strong and satisfying bond with our partners. Think of it like building a study house. Emotional vulnerability is like the foundation that holds everything together. Without it, the relationship may feel shaky or incomplete. But when both partners are willing to be open and honest with each other, it creates a solid foundation for trust, understanding and deeper connection. I'm sure we all go into relationships having a mind to build lasting connection. Sometimes we struggle to establish a strong bond in our relationships even when there is strong physical attraction, there can be a reluctance to talk about commitment. Some people might practice what is called avoidant attachment styles. This means some people find it hard to get close to others. Understanding whether you or your partner have this style can really, really change things in your relationship. It's like learning a new language to better communicate with each other and build a stronger connection. The way you and your partner show affection shows a lot about your relationship. Things like cuddling, holding hands and having heart-to-heart -heart talks help strengthen your bond. But if these gestures are missing, it can make you wonder about the emotional foundation of your relationship. In relationships where the emotional connection is weak, you might find it patient. Whether through talking or gestures is what can bring you closer and bridge this gap. Imagine feeling a bit sad or empty after being close with your partner. It's like something is not quite right. When there's a lack of emotional connection, just physical intimacy might not fill the gap in you, inside you. This feeling of emptiness afterwards is a sign that we need more than just the physical stuff to feel truly connected and understood in our relationship. In healthy relationships, there are special things we do together 
that makes us feel close like little rituals but when the emotional bond is weak those activities might feel more like chores than moments of even connection think about the things you and your partner do together like cooking dinner watching tv or even going for walks in healthy relationships these activities are like special rituals that bring you closer but if you're just going through the motions without really connecting it's like they've become boring routines instead of feeling happy and close you might feel like you're stuck in a rut doing the same thing over and over without any real meaning this can make us feel like our relationship is missing something important a deeper emotional connection that makes those moments truly special instead of creating happy memories we end up stuck in a boring routine which can make us feel like our relationship is missing something deeper finally how much we know about each other's personal lives shows how strong our relationship connection is when couples are close they're interested in each other's lives but if there is a disconnect you might not know much about what's going on with your partner outside of your relationship imagine you and your partner as detectives trying to uncover each other's secrets and stories when you're really connected you're eager to learn about their life outside of your relationship like their hobbies dreams and struggles but if there's a gap in your connection it's like you're missing pieces of the book of the puzzle you might not even be as interested or aware of what's going on in their world which can leave you feeling distant and disconnected so do these signs resonate with you share your thoughts in the comments below if you find this exploration helpful spread the knowledge Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and stay tuned for more. And as always, thank you so much for watching.